Bob and Brad Howdy, folks. We're the Bob and Brad Crew. I'm Alex. I'm Mike. And we're offering product reviews directly related to your health, fitness, and overall well-being. In our unbiased opinion, of course. Recover from knee surgery faster. We're talking ACL surgery, PCL surgery, knee replacement surgery. Bob and Brad Fit Glide. Mike's holding it right there. Look at him modeling that. He's <laughs> going up and down with it Does like it he's good. Got... Yeah, it looks good. Thanks. The price, $138.95, but there's a deal. Yes, if you go to our website, you can get 15% off at the end. It is the same price on Amazon if you prefer to order it from there, but there's no discount. So pick and choose where you want to order it from, I sure. guess. Sure. All right, let's get into the selling points. How does this thing work? So you could perform seated exercises, or you can actually lay down and do them too, mm -hmm. uh, to help increase your knee and hip range of motion. It can help improve your joint and muscle strength, as well as increase blood flow to your legs. Sure. I think we should put it on the ground and yeah, we'll show, show this show next it point real here. Quick. So there's three, actually three ways you can do it. Mike's going to put it at, at an incline. We call this an incline right now. So and it, you know, these three ways, it depends on what your goal is for, you know, why you'd put an incline or a Give Mike's going to turn side around. Side profile for you. So we have incline. Incline. We have flat. Flat. Or, or we a have a decline. Decline. So, so it's the same as the incline. You just set it up the opposite way. So if you want to work your hamstrings a little more, Mike would work in the decline position here. He could even add some cuff weights on his ankles to make it a little harder. Yep. He could put it flat. You know, if he doesn't want his hips flexed at all, he could put it flat on the ground, which is a lot of times... Mike and I are both physical therapist assistants, so we worked with a lot of patients. And a lot of times you'd start in the flat position. If somebody had a hip yep. replacement or knee replacement and they didn't want to have their knees flexed or their hips flexed, we'd, you know, you'd start flat. So. so this is basically a double knee glide, if any of you have a knee glide. Mm. Um, it's just you can use both legs that way or switch in and out and do a little more exercises yep. versus just a knee glide. Um, they're great for knee replacements. That's what we primarily use them for. Yep. Or if someone had an ACL or PCL surgery, a lot of times with those two, you have a tight uh, bend or straightening typically. Mm -hmm. It can work either way. It yep. uh, works good for hip replacements, any type of leg fracture too, or even a stroke would be more beneficial with this one because you can see if their one side is affected, you know, maybe they're not pushing this one as far as the other, and you yep. can definitely notice that with this. Yep. I'd say the goals, you know, as Mike said, Number one, range of motion with this thing. Yep. Number two, you know, a little... Um, Increased blood flow. Blood flow, yep. So no your fluid in the joints, getting the joints moving And again. three, I'd say, you know, is probably the strength. You know, you're not going to get a whole heck of a lot of... Yeah, I mean, if you do it for like it. 10 minutes with five-pound cuffs on your ankles, yep. you know, you'd get a bit of strength. Yep. But obviously, after your knee replacement or any yep. surgery, you're really sore. So this is just a good way yep. to get it moving. And it's very low impact. You know, it's not weight bearing, you know, you're sitting, you're in a seated position. So, I mean, it's not going to stress your joints yeah, pretty easy at all. So the ratings, rate, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, 4.4 out of five on Amazon, only 25 reviews. I couldn't really find any of the negatives people wrote out. I just kind of interpreted my own negatives. Sure. Um, we'll get into that right now. The price I'd say is a little bit of a negative for me. Yeah, it's a little expensive. It is classified under a medical device. Sure. So and that jacks it up, what, 88% <laughs> they say? And it, you know, it's a patent machine, mm -hmm. all the molds and stuff. It takes a bit to oh, yeah. make, takes yep. a bit to store, so that's why the price is what yep. it is. Um, you also have, like, a limited cardiovascular endurance with this. I wouldn't say it's a cardio machine. No. You know, someone like Alex and I, without knee injuries, aren't going to use something like this. Yep. Like, I'd use a standing elliptical, Stairmaster, treadmill. Like, this isn't something we would use. Sure. If I ever tore my ACL, I'd definitely use this. Yep. A negative for me is there's kind of no carryover motion like the, you know, the seated ellipticals, the Kubi that's out there. Or um, a bicycle or, or a bicycle. anything. They typically have some type of carryover yep. a bit. This is just, yep. you know, straight back and forth. So. so if I was getting something for my grandma, I, you know, I'm for just to keep her strength, you know, keep her going, I'd probably look into a you know, one of elliptical. seated elliptical, yep. Uh, it's a positives. This is very simple to use. I mean, you don't really have to read much yep. about it. Handle, put it up, down, flat. And just go to work. The biggest positive to me, you know, we're talking about grandma and grandpa here, middle age, your parents. Lightweight, less than five pounds. I mean, the Kubi, the other seated ellipticals. I mean, <laughs> yeah. hauling those things around yeah. is hard. You can't, those are probably, what, 20, 25 pounds? Yeah, maybe even up to 50 on some yeah. of the bigger ones. The yeah. Kubi was pretty big. This thing you can grab by the handle there and 
Yep, and this set is, it right in the corner. This is great for Nehab. We used uh, Nehab. I, I love that. Wow. <laughs> I combined words there. Knee rehab. Nehab. Uh, we send these home with patients as well as a knee glide, depending upon what they needed. Yeah. Um, and they're much more prone to do it. They would say. They'd say, you know, the floor scrubs were fine, but when they had something there, uh -huh. they were more. Prone like, to, yeah, yeah. Prone to, to actually doing their exercises. Yep, yep. We didn't really talk much about just people that are very arthritic. I mean, again, low impact. Somebody that's very arthritic, you know, yeah, that they maybe they don't lot. have a lot of range of motion. Mm -hmm. I mean, this would be great for them. At least gets it moving and doing stuff. I mean, unless your doctor said your arthritis is so bad, don't move it. But mm -hmm. typically they tell you to at least move a little bit. Get yep. some range of motion As much as possible. You don't use it, you? Lose it. Wow, we are so darn good uh, today. Also has adjustable positions. That's nice, you know, incline, flat, decline compared to, you know, just your typical floor scrubs. Yep. Comes fully assembled. Gosh, I love that as a father of three. Anything comes fully <laughs> assembled. Gives me more beer drinking time. And I'm all for it, folks. Another nice thing is if you're working on your increasing your range of motion, they have numbers, one through seven on the inside here, and they have little points, I would say, and you can actually see how far you are bending or extending. I'm going to tell Bob and Brad that those numbers should be white. So you can see it easier when you're yeah, sitting little, and looking down. Yeah, it is a little down. hard to read. Um, We're going to throw that one up in the negative there. <laughs> I'm always teaching those Rewind two. Rewind the video. All right. Subscribe to anything else you want to say. Um, not really, no. All right. I'm good. Wow, you're I'm speechless. Good. Once in a life, subscribe to us. Check us out on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Parlor, And hit the bell for notifications when we put up a new video. I've never even seen the old Parlor yet. Uh, Never exposed looks a myself lot like to Instagram. it. Does it? All right. I haven't really seen the Instagram much either. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bob and Brad crew. The Bob and Brad crew. The Bob and Brad crew. The Bob and Brad.